see where I am today. I came to the Ghana's Independence Arc. Some people actually call it Independence Gate. So I'm gonna be viewing this ex magnificent place today. And I've been passing this place a couple of times, but I never actually came inside. And today I decided to do that. So beside me here we have the Black Star Square, the second largest in the world. Can you believe that? Yeah, so this is the Independence Arc and it's actually very, very beautiful in the center of Accra. Yeah, so come along with me. I'll be showing you around this place. I'll be showing you the history about this arc behind me here. And I have somebody who is actually going to be explaining what this structure behind me is. It's a Ghanaian, so it has a Nigerian root. But he, <laughs> he has a Nigerian root, oh boy, he prefers to be a Ghanaian. Just imagine that. Okay, so I have with me. <laughs> Hi guys, you're from a confidence. I'm Watson. That's how we greet in the local language. Language, yeah, That's actually, the yes, they actually speak tree yeah. in Accra. Most people speak, though they have other languages, but tree is the language you get to hear most of the time. Yeah. So you teach me how to speak tree, right? So when I say Martin, then you respond, yeah, Eja. Yeah, Eja. Yeah. Okay. So Martin. Yeah, Eja. That's Woo! good morning. <laughs> so I know how to speak that. Yeah. Right. So we are here at the Independence Square. Can you tell me what this square is all about? Yeah. Um, this is the Black Star Square. Okay. And when we talk of the Black Star Square, we're talking of the independence of the Republic of Ghana. Now, this thing, some people call it um, the Black Star Gate, but I prefer the Black Star Square. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to show you why is the Black Star Square. This thing was built by the first president of the Republic, Asadi Kodok Okay. in line with the celebration of the Independence Day of the Republic, which happened in the seat of Mars. Ghana or Ghanaians come to celebrate the independence in a grand style on this parade ground and it has turned to function a lot of activities like um, the Christian prayer centers, the Islamic Idis and other stuff that's what is happening here. The second place I would like to talk about is the Black Star Square and this is the star in the flag of God. This black star was purposely made as a symbol to African nation that Ghana has arrived when Ghana got its independence in 1957. Wow. So 
So this is the reason why a lot of African nations are having a star in their <laughs> national flag, but not the black star because the black star is only for Ghana. So you've gotten the black star square, you've gotten the black star arc, then you've gotten the Christian ball. Talking of the 28th February route in 19. For the eight, where the soldiers fought with the white, and that triggered the independence in 1957. So there were three soldiers plus civilians that died on the 28th of February 1948, and their names are Sergeant Ajete, Copra, um, Ni Odate Lamte, who happened to be a private soldier. So the soldier over there is the unknown soldier, as we call him. Because during the fight for independence, a lot of soldiers fell and we built this just to represent all the soldiers that fell for the independence or that fought for the independence of the Republic of Ghana. So something small about this place. Now behind you is the National Sports Stadium, which happens to be around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he said because of the yeah, which one? Walk or qualifier, right? Yeah. Okay, because of the walk of qualifiers, they say they're going to show us what. Where the power lies. <laughs> so, something small, guys. Thank you. I'm very grateful for your time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so, Mr. Confidence blew me out when he said Ghana is going to show Nigeria where the power lies. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, because of the uh, walk of qualifier. Uh, dude, I had the. the Qualify, uh, the match is going to be played in Kumasi, not in Accra. But even at that, I don't know who should I support. I have to support my country, though I'm not. I'm not a football fan. It's my kids uh, <laughs> that are football fans. But whoever wins, kudos and good luck to whoever wins. So apologies, apologies for the sound. You know, I was five floors. You know, up there, the wind was so much, and that's one of the things I love about Ghana. They have the the breeze the breeze is very very it's always very very windy as hot as it can be it's always very 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 windy in ghana especially at night you know maybe it's from 7 p.m the kind of breeze you just feel you feel so much breeze and i was actually close to the atlantic ocean so that was part of it but even from my house you know when you're walking on the streets at night you feel a lot of breeze around ghana so that was my visit to the independence arc or independence gate as many call it and it was very insightful for me like i said i passed that place a lot of times but i never really went there but as i was exploring ghana i felt okay let me actually see what this place looks like and i love the explanation you know uh, you know it's it's actually a very nice place right it's nice to you know it just takes you back to history and why a people are the way they are so if you're new don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll be dropping more videos as i explore ghana the more as a nigerian you know don't forget <laughs> this is one love africa one love ghana nigeria but you know competition somebody just has to be the winner whoever wins kudos to them so please don't forget to subscribe once again and turn on your post notifications so you're notified when i post more videos so Bye. <laughs>